yeah very good thank you ganesh okay surya thank you all right so look at that uh, in our previous class we have discussed about the second derivatives how to find out the second derivatives particularly we have discussed the last problem e power a cos inverse of x i hope you can easily understand that e power a cos inverse of x problem everyone okay so today we will discuss about uh, some other problem in second derivative what is second derivative or second derivative is there to differentiating again the derivative so first derivative again we have to differentiate that is called as our second derivative okay so again uh, we have to derivate sir so that is called as a third derivative but third derivative is not in our syllabus only second derivatives okay we are going to uh, discuss about one the second derivatives only okay okay so look at this problem if y is equal to a e power m max plus b e power n max okay so then show that then show that d square y by dx square minus half m plus n dy by dx plus m n into y equal to zero. So here look at that y is given y is equal to a e power m x plus b e power n x. Then show that d square by dx square minus m plus n dy by dx plus m n y equal to zero. We have to prove this. So first of all, we have to find out first derivative dy by dx and we have to find out the second derivative d square y by dx square. What is y is given? My given y is given y is equal to a e power m x plus b e power n x. Okay, what is my derivative of e power a x? My e power a x derivative is e power a x and differentiation of this a x. The derivative of this a x is x differentiation is one, one into the constant a. So therefore one into a, a alone. So my differentiation of e power a x is a e power a x. Okay, here e power m x. So therefore my div differentiation of the first term is, my y differentiation is dy by dx. My e power m x differentiation is d power m x. Okay, into my m x differentiation is differentiation of this one. Now I'm going to apply that uh, chain rule. Okay, so function of function. So therefore this is m x differentiation is m alone plus b into e power nx and nx differentiation is into n. Are you okay? Are you clear? Right. So now come to that. Apply my the second derivative. What is my second derivative? My second derivative is again differentiate this. Okay. So before uh, so what is your dy by dx that is a e power m max into m and second term is n into b e power n max then differentiate again that means i'm going to find out the second derivative because look at that the given term is given function uh, given in d square by dx square minus of m plus n therefore i need to find out my second derivative that is important i am going to find out my second derivative Okay, what is my second derivative? So come to that second derivative. So this is m into a into e power m max. Okay, so this m, m is a constant, a is a constant, e power m max differentiation is e power m max into this m max differentiation. What is my m max differentiation? That is m alone, okay? Plus this is already n is there, n into b e power m max into n okay so therefore this will becomes m into m m square 
a e power m x plus this is n square b e power n x. This is my d square y by d x square. Okay. Now substitute everything in your given equation. That means left hand side. Okay. So therefore, what is this answer? This answer is m square a e power m x plus n square b e power n x. Okay. Now substitute this, and this is my one y. And this is my dy by dx2, and this is my d square y by dx square. Substitute all these three in your given equation. What is my given equation? My LHS is LHS of the equation. I'm going to prove that my LHS is d square y by dx square minus m plus n of dy by dx plus mn into y. Plus m n into y. This is my LHS. Okay. So now, what is my d square by d x square? My d square by d x square is nothing but m square a e power m x. So therefore, m square a e power m x. Okay. Plus n square b e power n x minus half m plus n into d by d x. What is my d by d x? Look at that. My d by d x is m a e power m x. N B E power N X. Okay, so therefore this is M A E power M X plus N B E power N X. So this is my d square by d x square. Actually, this is d square by d x square, and this is my d by d x plus M N into Y. Okay, my Y is nothing but look at that. My Y is A E power M X plus B E power N X. So therefore my A is A E power M X. Plus b e power n x. Now simplify this. What is the answer you are getting? So this is the first term is nothing but a e power m x. My second term is n square b e power n x. So now multiply this m with the minus sign. Minus m into this minus m square a e power m x. I'm just multiplying with this minus and m. Okay, to this term. And this term also multiply this m to the second term also. Therefore, this is also minus m n. This is minus m, and here n is there minus m n. Okay, e power n x. Okay, and similarly multiply these two term. So here also minus is common. Minus n into this. So therefore, minus n m e e power. Here m n b e power n x, and this is multiply these two. What happened? So therefore, this is minus n m a e power m x. Okay. So and minus of minus n into this n. So therefore, minus n square b e power n x. And here this is m n into a e power m x plus m n. Into b e power n x. Please try to understand what I am doing. I am just multiplying this m plus n inside with the minus sign, and multiply this m n inside these two terms. The for these two terms, m n is common. Multiply. Okay. So now look at that. So here I have a m square a e power m x. Here I is I have minus m square a e power m x. So this is in plus. This is in minus. I will get cancelled. These two terms get cancelled. Look at that. This one n square b e power n x. Okay, here also n square b e power n x. This is in plus. This is in minus. These two get cancelled. Okay, so now look at that. Here m n b e power n x. Here also m n b e power n x. This is in plus. This is in minus. These two get cancelled. And here this is also m n minus m n a e power n x. This is plus m n a e power n x. Everything cancel. I will get the answer is zero. This is my RHS. See the RHS. So therefore, you just find the word dy by dx, d square by dx square, and apply in the left hand side. Okay, and simplify. You will get the right hand side answer zero. Are you clear? Are you okay? Any doubts?
Yes, shall we move to the next? Come to the next problem. Any doubts? If you have any doubt, you please ask your doubt. Good afternoon, everyone. Ask your doubts. Vimal, what is your doubt? How many times we can derive in maxa? Vimal, what is your doubt? You please ask your doubt clearly. How many times we can derive in max means? Okay, you please, if you have any doubt, you please ask your doubt, Rimmel. Okay, so now look at the, the next question. So look at that, Vimal, uh, look at that. So look at the question. Here, I need dy by dx method, uh, mirror, Vimal. Here, I need dy by dx. I need d square y by dx square. Okay, so therefore, first find d y by dx. And secondly, find d square y by dx square. If possible, you simplify this right-hand side. Here also, if possible, you simplify the right-hand side. And then apply everything and simplify so all other terms up, uh, after simplification i will get zero right hand side answer for this type of problem sometimes sine inverse cos inverse cot, cot inverse functions involving we can easily directly find equation okay without applying in lhs the derivation itself gives the answer okay yesterday we discussed some problem e power cos inverse of x tan inverse of x the whole square okay everything okay so now look at this problem so look at this if y is equal to 5 cos x minus 3 sin x Okay, then prove that. D square y by dx square plus y equal to zero. Okay, here we must look at that. Here there is no dy by dx. In this equation, there is no dy by dx, but we need d square y by dx square. What is d square y by dx square? The second derivative of the uh, y function okay that means you have to differentiate the first derivative first of all find u by dx and then differentiate this uh, again then we will get this d square y by dx square so therefore now look at that my y is equal to 5 cos x minus 3 sin x 5 cos x minus 3 sin x okay so what is my dy by dx my dy by dx is nothing but 5 into what is my cos x differentiation minus sin x minus my what is my sin x differentiation that is cos x so therefore this bit becomes minus 5 sin x minus 3 cos x are you clear right so i don't want dy by dx but i want d square by dx square but for dy d square by dx square we need dy by dx you differentiate this function again you differentiate this dy by dx again with respect to s yes, that is my d square y by dx square so that means differentiate again this is minus 5 what is my sin x differentiation minus cos minus already there only cos sin differentiation is cos minus okay so this is 3 into what is my cos x differentiation minus sin x so therefore this is nothing but minus 5 cos x this is minus into minus plus 3 sin x. Okay, take minus commonly. Taking minus commonly, what is the answer? This is 5 cos x minus 5 cos x minus this is 3 sin x. 
Are you okay? What is my phi cos x? Look at that. What is my phi cos x minus 3 sin x? This is nothing but y. My phi cos x minus 3 sin x is nothing but y minus is there. So left hand side, what is there? I need, I have d square y by dx square is equal to minus y. So therefore, what is that? My d square y by dx square plus y equal to zero. Are you okay? So this is the answer. d square y by dx square plus y equal to zero. Are you clear? Are you okay? Any doubt? Yeah, very good. So look at that, the another problem, if y is equal to cos inverse of x, then find the d square y by dx square in terms of y alone. Question number 12. Next problem, question number 12. If y is equal to cos inverse of x, then find d square y by dx square, okay, in terms of y alone. So look at that. Here y is equal to cos inverse of x. We can easily find out my dy by dx. Okay, because my cos inverse, I know my what is cos inverse of x definition? Minus one by root over one minus x square. I can easily find out my d square y by dx square. What is my d square y by dx square? So I can apply u by v formula or I can bring it to the numerator and I can easily find out my d square y by dx square. That's all, problem over. My d square y by dx square. But look at that. What is that? Find d square by dx square in terms of y alone. But here I am differentiating this function. I will get function of x, not function of y. If I am differentiating directly, finding dy by dx, finding d square by dx square as usual, I will I will get the d square by dx square. That is correct. So why sir here they are asking something? Here we are finding something. Both are wrong as well. No. Both are correct. This is d square by dx square in terms of f of x, but they are asking d square by dx square in terms of y, in terms of function variable y. So that is also correct. This is also correct. But how to derive that answer in terms of y? So please look at that. This is given y is equal to cos inverse of x. Okay, you uh, the, uh, bring this cos in this cos inverse becomes here. What is the answer? It will become cos. Okay, cos y is equal to x. Okay, so this cos inverse becomes here. It is cos, cos y is equal to x. Are you clear? That means my x is equal to cos y. Now differentiate with respect to y. Differentiate with respect to y. What is the answer? I am getting dx by dy equal to my cos y differentiation is minus sin y. Are you okay? Are you clear? Right. So, but look at the question. What is my question? My question is second derivative. Second derivative also d square y by dx square. Suppose I am differentiating again this, what happened? I will get d square y by dx square. Okay, sir, you are dy by dx is equal to one by dx by dy. That is a reciprocal. Like that, we can write like this, sir. d square y by dx square is equal to d square x by dx square. No, please don't write that. This is not. Okay, so that means you don't write like this. So I can write like that, sir. d square x by dx square, dy square. No, this is not a correct one. This is correct. Please try to understand this is correct, but this is not a correct one. Okay, 
So then what to do? So we have a separate formula for that. D square y by dx square is equal to in terms of d square, d square x by dx square. We have a separate formula, but we don't want to go for that formula. Then what to do, sir? So I'm going to change this. Yeah, I'm going to use the first formula. My d y by dx is, I'm going to use this result. My d y by dx is nothing but one divided by dx by dy. Okay, so one divided by my dx by dy is minus sine y. So therefore minus sine y. Are you clear? Are you understand? Why I'm finding dy by dx? Because I need d square y by dx square only. So if you get the dy by dx, then only I can easily find out my dy by dx. Are you okay? Are you clear? Shall we move to the next? So therefore, my dy by dx is, okay, minus one by sine y. Sine by one by sine is nothing but cosecant. This is my dy by dx. Now differentiate again with respect to x. Differentiate with respect to yes. Why I am differentiating here again? Look at that, the question is, look at the question, find the d square y by dx square just uh, till that I have found out only dy by dx, differentiate again with respect to x, then only I will get d square y by dx square. I will get d square y by dx square. Okay, then what is the definition of this minus cosecant y? What is the definition of minus cosecant y? What Ganesh, what, what you are asking? What is the doubt? Answer. <laughs> okay, okay, Ganesh. I understand your problem. So this is no Ganesh. Okay. Okay, these red boxes. Are you okay, Ganesh? You got to start from here. Your y is equal to cos inverse of x and bring it to the left-hand side, this is, therefore cos y is equal to x, therefore x is equal to cos y, differentiate with respect to y, my dx by dy is equal to minus sine y, my dy by dx is one by dx by dy, so my dx by dy is sine minus sine y, so therefore one by minus sine y, so this is, minus one by sine y can be written as minus cosecant y. Now differentiate with respect to x. Are you okay, man? Very good. Yeah. So look at that, differentiate with respect to y. What is my cosecant x differentiation? Our cosecant y differentiation, my cosecant x differentiation is minus cosecant x cot x. What is my cosecant x differentiation? Minus cosecant x cot x. Already one minus is there. My formula is, look at that, my cosecant x differentiation is minus cosecant x cot x. Okay, so therefore this is minus cosecant x actually cosecant y, because here y is there, cosecant y, cot y. Okay, again, you have to differentiate this y, that is dy by dx, please try to understand. Wherever y is coming, the differentiation is into dy by dx will come. Okay, that means again, function of function, I'm going to apply the chain rule. Again, the, I'm going to differentiation with res, differentiating with respect to x only, but here the function is y. So then differentiate, what is my differentiation of sine x? Look at that. My differentiation of sine x is d by dx. Differentiation with respect to x, sine x is cos x. But the same differentiation for sine y is, my if my variable is y, so therefore I have to write just cos y into, write this y function differentiation. What is the y function differentiation? dy by dx. Are you okay, are you clear? 
like that. Here I am differentiating with respect to x, therefore I am going to differentiate this y. This y actually. So therefore into dy by dx. Okay. Right. What is your dy by dx? See that my dy by dx is minus cosecant y. So therefore the answer is this is minus into minus plus cosecant y cot y into my dy by dx is minus cosecant y. So this is plus into minus minus cosecant y into cosecant y cosecant square y into cot y. Okay. So look at that, my d square y by dx square is in y alone. Look at the right hand side, we have only y function alone. There is no x function, only y function. That is the question. Look at the question, see the question. Read the question. Okay. So look at the next problem. Look at the next problem. Uh, the if e power y into x plus one is equal to one, then show that d square y by dx square is equal to dy by dx the whole square. So this is true for every problem, sir? No. So look at the question. The question is, if e power y into x plus 1 equal to 1, then show that d square y by dx square equal to dy by dx the whole square. We have to prove that my second derivative is equal to first derivative, the whole square. So this is true for all the problems, sir. sir. No, this is not a result. For this problem, particularly this problem, this is true. Okay, this is not true for all the problems. You please try to understand. Okay, right. So now how to prove this, sir? So now look at that. This is given, given e power y, x plus one equal to one, okay. Now differentiate this, what is the answer we are getting? Apply UV formula in the left hand side. I'm going to differentiate both the sides. Here apply UV formula. Okay, what is the answer? So I'm going to differentiating with respect to x. Differentiate with respect to x, apply UV formula my u dash e power y differentiation is e power y into differentiate this y okay i have already told that my e power ax differentiation is e power ax and differentiate the numerator uh, differentiate the power value ax okay what is the differentiation of this ax my ax differentiation is a into one so therefore a alone similarly here e power y differentiation is e power y and differentiate this y. So therefore, this is nothing but dy by dx. Okay, into x plus one. Okay. Right, so this is plus and my e power y into, what is this well, differentiation of this x plus one? Differentiation of this x plus 1 is 1 only. My x differentiation is 1 and 1 differentiation is 0. Okay, as for that, for 1 only x plus 1 differentiation, only 1. Right hand side differentiation is 0. Okay, so then now look at that. I need only dy by dx. dy by dx, here e power y into x plus 1. equal to this minus e power y. So I need only dy by dx because the question is finding dy, we have to find out dy by dx, we have to find out d square by dx square, okay? 
So I need only d over dx. Therefore, keep this term to the left hand side and keep this term to the right hand side because this is a non d over dx term. This is a d over dx term. So keep this first term left hand side and keep this right this term to the right hand side. So therefore, this is minus e power y. So now look at that. My d over dx is nothing but minus e power y divided by e power y into x plus 1. E power y, e power y cancel. I am getting minus 1 by x plus 1. So therefore, my dy by dx is minus 1 by x plus 1. This is the left hand side answer. Uh, right hand side, dy by dx, right hand side answer, dy by dx value. You have to take a square for this minus one by x plus one the whole square. Okay, now differentiate again. What is the answer? Differentiate again with respect to x. So this left hand side is d square y by dx square equal to what is the differentiation of this? Any idea? How to differentiate the right hand side? How to differentiate the right hand side? Any idea? So that means this is d by dx, huh? this minus one by x plus one. So this is nothing but my d by dx of huh? minus x plus one, the whole power minus one. Okay, you bring this minus to the outside, take this minus outside. What is the differentiation of this? Apply x power and formula, this is minus one x plus 1, the whole power minus 1, minus 2. What is the formula? x power and formula is n into x power n minus 1. Already minus 1 is there. Another minus 1, it is minus 2. And now differentiate this. x differentiation 1, 1 differentiation 0, only 1. Okay, so therefore, look at that. This is minus into minus plus, plus into 1, 1. So therefore, 1 by 1 plus x square r x plus 1 the whole square see that so this is my d square y by dx square are you clear about d square y by dx square that's equal to 1 by 1 plus x square 1 by 1 plus x the whole square this is my d square y by dx square All right now this is my second equation Compare 1 and 2, this is true or not? This is we are going to prove that. We are going to prove that my d square y by dx square is dy by dx the whole square. So see this, this is d square y by dx square is 1 by 1 plus x the whole square. Here, my d y by dx the whole square, this is my d y by dx. What is d y by dx the whole square? Minus 1 square divided by 1 plus x the whole square. Minus 1 square becomes plus 1. And divided by 1 plus x the whole square, this is 1 plus x the whole square. So therefore, we are getting come 1 and 2. My d square y by dx square is nothing but my dy by dx the whole square. Are you okay? Are you clear? Are you understand? Any doubt? Okay, All right. So we have finished our this exercise. Almost we have finished many problems in this exercise. Remaining problems we take it as a homework problems. Okay. So now exercise five point eight is deleted. Deleted portion. Okay. Uh, 
what happened? How do you get the second equation now? Nagarjuna, what is your doubt? Nagarjuna, what is your doubt? Second equation, this is. So look at that, Nagarjuna. I'm again differentiating this. Okay, differentiation of this minus one by x plus one. So here the denominator bring it to the numerator and then apply x power n formula. What is my x power n formula? Differentiation formula n into x power n minus one. Okay, n into x power n minus one. So what is my n? That is minus one. Minus one. This is my x x plus one x power minus one minus one minus two. And then differentiate this x plus one. Then answer is one. This minus already taken outside. So therefore, this is minus into minus becomes plus. And bring this uh, here one plus x the whole power minus two is there. You bring it to the numerator denominator. If you bring it to the denominator, the power will become plus one plus x the whole power plus two. Are you okay, Nagarjuna? Yes, chapter is over. Only we have to discuss about miscellaneous problems. Okay, Ganesh, what do you want? You need fourth slide. This one. Look at that. Here, this is given. Y is equal to cos inverse of x given. And you bring this cos inverse to the left hand side. It will become cos. Cos inverse by become here. It is cos y. It will only cos, not inverse. Cos y is equal to x. So that is x is equal to cos y. Now differentiate with respect to y because here x is a function of y, so therefore I am differentiating x with respect to y. Okay, so what is the definition of x? That is dx by dy. I am differentiating with respect to y. And what is my cos y definition? My cos y definition is minus sign y. Why, sir, you are not writing dy by dx because here I am writing with respect to y alone. Y means y differentiation is one. I have to write like that, dy by dy, not dx. Here it is one only. Definition of y with respect to y, it is one only. Okay, no need to write this. Okay, so therefore my dy by dx equal to, right, this is actually dx by dy is equal to minus sign y, but we know that the rule dy by dx equal to one by dx by dy, my dx by dy is minus sine y, take it here. But my one by sine can be written as cosecant. Okay, and now differentiate again with respect to x alone. Now differentiate with respect to x alone. Okay, so because this is dy by dx, this function is differentiating with respect to x first time. So again, you have to differentiate with respect to x second time. So here, what is cosecant x formula minus cosecant x cot x. This minus is already there. This is already in formula also, we have minus minus cosecant x cot, cosecant y cot y. Are you clear? So now look at that. This is minus into minus plus cosecant y cot y. What is my dy by dx? Look at that my dy by dx. My dy by dx is minus one by sine y. So minus one by sine y is nothing but cosecant y minus cosecant y. So minus into minus plus cosecant square y, this is cot y. So this is the function of y alone. Look at the question. The question is find the d square by dx square in terms of y alone. In terms of y, right hand side, in terms of y is that. That is the answer. Are you okay, Ganesh? Yes, now come to that. Uh, miscellaneous problems. So first example problem. Okay. So differentiate with respect to differentiate this function through root of three x plus two plus one by two root of two x square plus four with respect to x. Okay, how to differentiate? First of all, take this function as 
root of uh, y is equal to root of 3x plus 2, okay, plus 1 by root over 2x square plus 4, okay. So first of all, you please try to write this. What is actually root? Root means the power is half only. 3x plus 2, the whole power half. Dear students, please note that this is my exercise 5.7. These problems exercise 5.7. Your exercise 5.8 is deleted. Exercise 5.8 is deleted portion. Okay, so don't concentrate about the exercise 5.8. So come to that miscellaneous problems. Okay, right. So first of all, right. This root means power is half here also. root means my power is half that is 2 x square plus 4 the whole power half okay so therefore this will becomes this can be written as my y is equal to 3 x plus 2 the whole power half plus and this is 2 x square plus 4, the whole power minus half. Why sir minus half? So look at that. My 2 x square plus 4 power 1 by 2 is in the denominator. You bring it to the numerator. Okay, it will become plus. A uh, plus means the uh, power is my uh, plus 1 by 2 means it will become minus 1 by 2. Okay, now differentiate. I am going to apply my x power n formula only. What is my d by d x of x power n? My d by d x of x power n is n into x power n minus one. Apply this formula. What is the answer you are getting? That's all. Problem over. Here also apply x power n formula. Here also apply x power n formula and simplify. Your problem will be over. Are you okay? What is the differentiation? D by d x apply x power n formula. This is actually my n, n into. Actually, consider this is your x, x power n minus one. Okay, but into you have to differentiate this. 3x plus 2. You have to differentiate this dx plus uh, 3x plus 2. That is very important. That is called it as a chain rule. Function of function. Okay. Plus. Here also, this is my n. Okay. Into 2x square plus 4. The whole power minus 1. N into x power n minus 1. N is minus half. N minus 1. Okay, into d by d x. Ah, uh, this function, this x function, this is we are assuming as x. We are assuming this as x and applying x power n formula, x power n, n into x power n minus one. But we have to differentiate this x also. That is two x square plus four. This is the function of function chain rule. Now simplify that all. What is the answer here? We are getting one by two, three x plus two. Okay, what is half minus one? That is minus half. Okay, this is definition of three x plus two. It is only three. X definition is one. Constant is definition zero. So constant coming in multiplying with some variable means we have to keep the constants. Constant alone, one term is coming means um, the definition of the constant term is zero. Okay. Yeah, this is into three alone. Why the differentiation of my three x plus two is three alone? My x differentiation is one. Okay, one into three three. This is zero. So therefore, three alone. This is minus one by two. This plus into minus minus one by two. This is two x square plus four minus half minus one. This is minus three by two. 
and differentiation of this term what is my differentiation of this term this is actually 2x square plus 4 2x x square x square differentiation is 2x into 2 is there therefore 4x plus 4 differentiation is 0 only 4x so therefore now simplify i am getting this is the numerator is 3 alone denominator is through 2 into this is 3x plus 2 the whole power 1 by 2 here the power is minus half okay here the power is minus half please bring it to the de denominator and the power will become plus half okay this 3 is already taken by 2 is there so therefore now come to this 1 by 2 okay what is this this is actually 4x into 4x into you bring this term also denominator because my power is minus so therefore 2x square plus 4 the whole power 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 the power will become in the denominator already my power is minus 3 by 2 is there if you bring it to the denominator it will become plus 3 by 2 so therefore the answer is 3 divided by 2 into this power 1 by 2 means this is nothing but root 2 root x that is 3x plus 2 this is minus I can cancel this 2 so therefore minus 2x in the numerator given in denominator 2x square plus 4 the whole power 3 by 2 that's all this is our answer you have to differentiate the root function carefully that is very important Okay. If you finished means we'll go for the next one. Are you finished? So dear students, please note that tomorrow we have a test, Saturday test. Why only less number of students are there? So many students were absent today. Why? What is the reason? Only less number of students are attending the class. Why? What is the problem? What is the reason? Okay, so the tomorrow morning 10 o'clock we have a test in determinants. Properties of determinants not in our syllabus that is deleted. Therefore, we are not included in tomorrow test also. Only 25 questions. Uh, the last time some students are feeling 30 questions uh, uh, the time is not sufficient for 30 questions. Therefore, we have reduced the five questions this time. Okay. So, therefore, only 25 questions. All are simple questions only, NCRT based level questions only. So, you please try that. Try to get full marks. Try to get at least decent marks, 80%, 90%. Okay. Right. So, now come to that uh, next one. So differentiate. So differentiate log of base seven log x with respect to x. Okay, please try to understand. And uh, in our uh, differ differential calculus and integral calculus your log of x means log base e this is understood one log x in differential particularly in differential and integral calculus okay your log x means your base is e base is a uh, this is a natural logarithm okay base is e okay this can be written as ln x 
if my base is e we can return as ln x okay right now look at that here my log x okay so in our differential calculus and integral calculus wherever we are writing log x means log base e is the meaning okay so look at that my differentiation of log x what is my differentiation of log x that is 1 by x this is nothing but my differentiation of log base e x okay this is nothing but differentiation of uh, ln x okay so this is 1 by x please try to understand are you clear are you understand okay so now come to that if the log base e is given okay we can differentiate but here there is no log base e it is 7 is there okay sir can i consider what is log 5 my log 5 is constant the differentiation uh, differentiation is zero okay because here there is no variable log x only this is 1 by x log 5 is a constant number okay so that's why it is zero but here here my base is e but here my base is 7 so therefore you never you can't apply the different derivative formula log x is equal to 1 by log x please try to understand don't apply if you are writing this like this that is a wrong one and log base 7 of log x sir i am considering this is my x sir 1 by log x i am considering this is x log x definition is 1 by x and the definition of log x is another 1 by x okay so therefore this is not correct this is not true don't write like this why sir everything is the base 7 so then what to do sir can i write i take it as this is a constant function no because look at that here it is e is there nothing is there means that is e so if the base is not given means particularly in differential calculus and integral calculus my base is e alone this is understood if base is not given where log x base is not given then consider that as natural logarithm e base is e so then what what we have to do sir what i am going to do so i am going to use some formula change of base formula in logarithm we have one formula change of base formula i am going to apply that formula change of base formula what is change of base sir so look at that my log of a of b is equal to my log base c of b divided by my log base c of a here log base a of b is given means you can you have to introduce some other base log c base is c okay right log base c of b this one and similarly log base c of this one okay so therefore now look at that this is a change of base formula please note this what is my y look at my y this is my function log base 7 of log e of x e is understood okay so this is i am going to write it as i am going to take it as this is my a look at that this is my a and this is my b this is entirely b so therefore this is i am going to write it as log base e i am going to introduce my c as e here the new number c is introducing i am going to that taking that my base is e log base e of this log x okay divided by and look at that log base e of this b log base e of this one so that for log base e of 7 so this is nothing but log of log x by log 7 please try to understand here i am not writing any base therefore my base is e here i am not writing any base therefore my base is e everything my base is e only okay so i am applying the change of base formula please try to understand my change of base formula are you clear are you understand right so now differentiate this here my log 7 is a constant differentiate this alone so therefore my dy by dx is 
my 1 by log base e of 7 is constant okay what is the definition of log of log x my log of log x is 1 by log x differentiation okay into my log x differentiation is 1 by x look at that this is actually log of log x log x now you can consider this is as x because my base is e base is e nothing is given means we have to consider my base is e so therefore my log of log x this is considered as x therefore 1 by log x into 1 by x okay so therefore my answer is 1 by log base 7 log base e of 7 log base x log base e of x and into x so this is your answer differentiation are you okay are you clear any doubt Ganesh, we know that mean uh, WKT means we know that. So this means we know that. Okay, so look at that in my differential calculus and integral calculus, my log x means base is E. Here base is not given means that is the meaning my base is E. What is E? E is an irrational number. Okay. 2.761. That value. Right. How to find out that value? That is we have already discussed 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial. Okay. 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial and etc. This sum goes up to infinity. This total sum value becomes 2.6. Sorry. 2.761. Okay, this sum, this series sum is called as our E. That is 2.761 approximately. Okay, so if you fix this basis 2.761 and form the logarithmic function, so that is called as long function or log base E of x or simply log x. Okay, so here my definition of log x, definition of log base E of x, definition of log x is 1 by x. This is the formula. If my base other than E is given, only 7 is given, 10 is given, so it is, we don't have any formula for that. Okay, so that, but here it is 7 is there, but here it is E is there. So then what to do, sir? I'm going to apply the change of base formula. This is my change of base formula. Okay, this is my given function. I am taking, this is my A, this is my B. Applying formula, log of some, I got to introduce C, C is E log base e of this log base e of x log base e of this 7 this is constant differentiate this alone this is nothing but log of log x differentiation 1 by log x into log x definition is 1 by x that's all into this is constant constant is there so therefore this is our answer are you clear are you understand any doubt dear student any doubts so we will discuss some more problems in our miscellaneous in our tomorrow class. So most probably within one or two periods, we will finish this chapter and we will go to the next chapter. Sixth chapter applications of derivatives. Okay. So please try to understand tomorrow uh, we have a test in determinants. 25 questions. Okay, we have a negative marks also. Please concentrate your negative marks also. Okay. right so please write your test sincerely all of you right within one or two periods we will finish our class uh, we will finish our chapter five okay thank you thank you so much thank you everyone please work out the homework problems upload the homework problems
yeah we will do it raksha agilan we will do it we will do some extra problems okay thank you thank you everyone thank you so much bye